Hey, it's PJ Metz from Project Discovery. I'm here with Brendan O'Leary, also from Project Discovery. We are part of the community team, and we released this video recently that we called the 30-minute Project Discovery Tool Rundown. And we're here to see if we can speed run it, because everything on the internet is better when it's faster. So Brendan, you took 30 minutes before. Uh, I feel like it's going to be quicker this time. You've already got your diagram ready. But uh, before we get started, started, like, how fast do you think you can do this? I want to see if we can start with a prediction. I don't know. I'm hoping for like a sub two minute run. I think that would okay. be great. But I also don't want to talk like the, the cheat code would be me talking as fast as I can, which is bad. So I don't yeah, know. We'll no, see. it's got to be legible. It's got to be legible. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're going to do, Brendan. I have a little uh, my stopwatch app, my little timer here. I'm going to say go, and I'm just going to hold this up to the screen, and we'll see how quickly you can get this done. Are, are you ready? I'm ready. I was born. All right. Ready. Let's go. Three, two, one. All right. Great. So PD has, uh, Project Discovery has over 20 open source tools that I'm going to explain. And, and most of those tools are focused on how can we look at an attack surface for a company, either from outside the company as a bug bounty hunter or from inside the company. And so let's talk about what an attack surface looks like. So we've got our company and we have the internet. And there is some intersection, right, where the company has an app, their API, their website, all kinds of stuff exposed to the internet, right? That's just kind of part of doing business. And so how does that expose itself? Well, it has ports that are open on IP addresses that are mapped to DNS names that are all could be subdomains of, uh, you know, an overall larger domain name. And so as an attacker or as someone who wants to understand our attack surface, we want to understand all of these. So we use Naboo and HTTPX and TLS to look at what open ports are there, what TLS uh, certificates are they running, uh, you know, and what kind of uh, technology they're using to deploy, you know, websites with HTTPX. Then what's those IP addresses? Well, ASN map and map cider help us to discover, you know, what kind of IP address range does this company working with and, and what where might be other IP addresses that we don't see. And then when it comes to DNS resolution to that, DNSX helps us resolve, uh, you know, what are the uh, IP addresses behind these DNS records and do they exist and, and do a lot of stuff with DNS records. Uh, and then a big chunk of what we're doing is subdomain enumeration, right? So Subfinder is a passive uh, subdomain enumerator. AlterX is kind of more of an active one. Chaos is our internet-wide service for subdomain enumeration, and, and we're kind of out there searching for it so that you can then passively find it with SubFinder. And Shuffle DNS does a lot of stuff with like mass DNS and more DNS things. Uh, and then down here, we have Katana, which is a web crawler that's going to crawl and look for every endpoint that might exist and things that aren't you know listed here that an application's uh, looking for. Uncover is going to use internet-wide search engines like Shodan to find even more stuff. Uh, that might be out there for a given company. And CDN check is going to say, is there a CDN running in front of this? Because that's really critical uh, as an attacker or as someone who's looking to uh, protect. Then that's all stuff outside the company. Inside the company, we have CloudList that's going to use your cloud vendor's API to look for all the things and assets that exist, right? And so that's the attack surface. And then once I have that attack surface, if I'm the attacker, I might want to see if there's an out-of-band interaction where I can get a server to behave badly by returning content from my own thing. So I can use Interact uh, SSH to do that, uh, Proxyfy, simple HTTP server, or other tools that I can run on my system to help either proxy through or run a simple server with Go. Uh, and then once I have that whole attack service, I'm going to want to run Nuclei and Nuclei templates against it to see known vulnerabilities. I can get notified of those in Slack or Discord or Telegram with Notify. And AIX wraps the open API spec uh, and API so that I can kind of do uh, more discovery around all these things. And then because there's so many of them, uh, I have PDTM, the Project Discovery Tool Manager, to help me install, manage, and update all of those tools. I'm calling it time. Okay, so it looks like we got three minutes and 16 seconds. And I got to say, that's actually really impressive because that is a, you did it in 10% of the time. That's a 90% yep. reduction there. Yes, that's all about efficiency, right? 90% reduction. That's right, 90% <laughs> <laughs> reduction. What? This is great. Uh, this pairs well with the 30-minute rundown video. So if you came here from that other rundown video, congratulations, you've done it all. But if you found this one first and you're looking for more detail, you should check out the 30-minute uh, Project Discovery Tool rundown video that we're going to have linked below. Uh, Brenda, I think that was fantastic. I like that a lot. Great. Yeah, thanks, PJ. It was awesome. Yeah. All right. So if you want to uh, see more of us, if you want to keep interacting with the uh, Project Discovery community, you can check us out on Discord. Uh, the link is below, but it's also nux.gg slash discord. That's nux.gg slash discord. 
And you can find us there. We got a community of nearly 6,000 people there. Uh, and it's growing all the time. We've got questions, we've got answers, and we've got uh, a group of people who are all doing bug bounty hunting, penetration testing, and working to democratize security with us. So check us out there. Check us out uh, on Twitter, nux.gg slash Twitter. And we'll see y'all out there. Thanks for coming to our speed run.